So if you are into motion capture or you are into mix and animation to animate your character, you will notice that the default response for all this animation is the tipos. And when you want to retarget these tipos into a post character, you figure out that you won't get the results that you want. And in my previous videos about um, retargeting motion capture animation, I used to use the cat plugin or the cat add-on to reset the default um, response of the character from a post to t post. But in this tutorial, I have another add-on that will make all this thing easier. We don't even need to change the response of the custom character from a post to t post. So let's begin. So I'll be using the Firmorphic plugin to bring in my Dacio the character to this scene because this is the character I'm going to be retargeting with Mixamo animation. So this is the Dash setup. If you don't know how to um, install this add-on, my previous video will explain to you how to install this add-on because this add-on has more features when you uh, want to rig your character and also when you want to morph your character from Dash 3 d to Blender. So let's go to Genesis 9 and I'm going to select um, body. Where's body? Yes, body. And I have to go to my document. Then I have to go to my Genesis 9 file. I'm coming. So this is Genesis 9. And I'm going to go to this. I'm going to bring my character in. Easy. Yes. So let's wait for it to load. So now that we have our character on our screen right now, in this same add-on, you can convert this bone into Rigify, which is more easier for you to rig. Just select Convert to Rigify, and you have those circular, um, the IK and the FK on these bones. But that is not where we are going to. Just go and watch my previous um, tutorial to know how to use this add-on better. So let's move to the next um, aspect. So we are going to be using the BVH um, add-on or the BVH retargeter. So what you need to do is you can just go to, I'll put the link in the description box, but then so when you search for BVH retargeter, just select it or click on it. Then the next thing you select is the stable version 2.0. Select this. Then the next thing for you to do is to download this add-on. Just select download. So when you download this add-on and you figured out that this um, particular add-on is not zipped, then you can just compress it into a zip file and install it like the way you install other add-on. So let me go back to my blender. I will change this to this mode because my PC is quite laggy. So I'll go to um, edit. I'm going to go to preference. Then I'm going to go to add on. Let's search for BVH because I've installed mine. So I just want to show you. So this is the BVH and FBX retargeter. So you can use it to retarget any FBX animation file or BVH animation file. So this is it. So then you find it here. So let me just scroll down and look for the add-on. So this is the BV8 retargeter. Let me just cancel this. So let's go to Mixamo to download any random animation. So I'm going to, this is my Mixamo. So let me download this frame on Xbox animation. I'm going to select download. So we are done downloading as you can see here. So let me go back to my Blender. Then I need to like import this animation into this um, folder and like i said see the response of this um, character is the a post so this is it response is a post so but then it doesn't matter so uh let's go to the this bvh here so i'm going to select load bvh or fbx file and i'm going to select download yes i'm going to select this I make sure you change the scale to 0 0.1 because when you import this in, it's going to be very, very, very big that you might not be able to find it in your Blender viewport. So let me change it to 0 0.1 and let me select load BVH or FBX file. So let's wait for it to load. So now our animation has been imported. This is here, but I think I need to scroll backward a bit for us to see it. So this is the animation. Can you see it here? So let's do the retargeting. Now that the bone has been selected, then I need to select the bone of the character, which is the one I'll be selecting last. So let hold on your shift and select the bone of the character. So when you select that, now select on your BVH add-on, select with target selected to active. Then we are going to wait for this process. So when you are done retargeting, this is what you are going to see. And make sure that when you are retargeting, or before you select with target selected to active, make sure that you are on post position on your character, not on rest position, or else you will get a very good result. So just take note of that in case you face error like that while following this tutorial. So now let's move to the first frame. 
can you see so this is a perfect praying and see the hands are together i'm trying to zoom for you my bad about the laggy pc so um you can now delete the um bone you i'm sorry the animation we imported or the mega animation you can just delete that so you don't need that anymore so now you've just finished uh targeting the mega animation to your character with an e pose because when you, when i select this bone sorry and i select this rest position you are still going to get e pose so the old t pose and e pose issue would affect this situation so you can also check out my um, mock-up design they are displaying below this video i can also check my channel page you will see my store there you can also purchase any of my mock-up um, t-shirt to support my um, tutorials so thank you for watching this um, video don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to get more tutorial from team the creator yeah bam yeah this is cool see ya